Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to Tech Talk here at MarketStream.Live on March 21st, Tuesday, in a very volatile day, to say the least. And Tech Talk is really where we want to take the opportunity to look at charts, and then we also want to look at the options. Charts give us a perspective and a picture of what's been happening, and the options will give us a estimation or an anticipation of what potentially we could expect going into the future. So let's jump right in into some stocks that I wanted to take a look at. Last night in Tech Talk, we talked about Nike. Nike has earnings after hours currently trading down 33 cents, about a half a percent. Um, you can see it's trading off of its worst levels um, of the day with the market down 1% almost across the board. You got the spiders, the small caps, the mid caps, um, all down about uh, a little more than 1%. 2% in the terms of the small cap. So some big moves there. Uh, Nike in the retail segment, we talked about retail. Uh, there could be some select retailers that could actually have some strength. But again, Nike well above its 20 and 50 day moving average. This is the area that the bulls will have to defend. We do have earnings coming out. There's a highly, anticip highly anticipated earnings announcement for Nike. They want to see really how this iconic brand is actually going to fare going forward. The consumer at, is basically the pulse of this domestic economy here. We are a service-based economy. We're going to watch this one closely. Right now, Nike's options are pricing and going into the event tonight that the stock could be in a 5% range. That means either up or down about $2.66 going into this earnings announcement. So post the announcement, we could see it as low as 56 uh, 57 and uh, 55 and some change to as high as 59, uh, or excuse me, 60 to 61 and some change. That's the type of range that we're seeing uh, being priced in to Nike. And as a matter of fact, we haven't seen that challenge that area until uh, since basically August of 2016. That was the last time that we saw the area on the upside challenge there. And we haven't seen the downside challenged in quite some time in the last couple of weeks where it was challenging 56. So this area between 61 and 56, that's the area that the options are pricing in for potential movement. Pretty impressive, and we'll keep an eye on that post uh, uh, market hours. And some of you might be asking, how did we come up with that? We just looked at the straddle strangle market in the options. Um, and if I go to trading block, And log in, I can actually show you how we actually came up with that estimated move analysis. And let's just go in here. We're going to go to uh, trade options. And all I have to do is type in a Nike, N-K-E. You can see it's in the smart search right there. I'm going to do create my own. Again, just trying to show you a quick exercise. Uh, I'm going to use the closest expiration. This is the end of the week weeklies. The at the money strike is the straddle. So the stock trading at 58.33, $58 is the at the money strike. So basically, you're going to look at the calls and you're going to look at the strangle market, which is the first strike out of the money. So the 57 and a half puts and the 58 and a half calls. You basically take up the offers of all of these. So basically, you're looking at all, a little over three. So this is basically about six in some change. Um, so that's where we came up with the 266 because you divide that total by two, right? So you're actually getting uh, about six and some change. Divide that by two and you're getting three and some change uh, or two and some change as the uh, estimated move. Actually, it's like five and some change. So uh, again, looking at this, we're... Uh, Pricing in $2.60 is potential range going into this event or 5% for Nike. Uh, taking a look at the next stock that's going to be report reporting after hours, FedEx. Now, transports have been under pressure, and FedEx uh, currently right now is down $0.13, cents, so it's holding up quite well. Um, this is the lifeblood of uh, basically the economy. If you see that FedEx is doing well, that means that the economy is most likely doing well. Um, with that being said, the barometer for the economy domestically is the small caps, and they're down 2.42%. So there could be some question marks here. Now, FedEx coming into this earnings announcement, they're in this battleground, folks, right here of that 50-day and 20-day moving average. It's been in that battleground 
for quite some time, the last couple of weeks. As a matter of fact, it's been in quite a consolidation basically almost all of February and March. So we're watching this range of basically between 191, 190 um, to about 195. Now the options are pricing in that FedEx could have about a 4% range in this $192 stock. What does that mean? About almost $8 to the upside or downside. So with the stock currently trading at 192, you could see it hot, challenging 200, which we haven't seen yet this year. And as a matter of fact, you'd have to go back and take a look at um, December of last year, the last time it was challenging 200. Um, it's been in a consolidation and we could see it potentially as low as 184, which again would be roughly support as far as the last lows that we've seen uh, here in 2017 and uh, late in 2016 in December. Uh, the 200-day and 50-day moving averages, the 20-day the moving average has been broken at 192.95, and the 200-day is being challenged right now at 191.45. We're going to watch this one very closely. A break of that 50-day means that you could be putting the, the midterm bulls on notice. Then that means that the next support level is going to come in at 184. And as a matter of fact, with the options pricing in basically about an $8 range, that plays in quite uh, nicely. You're looking at 184 on the downside, and you're looking at uh, 200 on the upside. That's basically about a one standard deviation move right now going into the event. Finally, taking a look at Silver Wheaton. Uh, they are reporting after hours. Right now, Silver Wheaton is trading down about six cents, so relatively flat today. Um, and this is a precious metal and minerals, so this is interesting. We've been watching this this market very closely. It's been holding up quite well in spite of the dollar strength. Uh, now the dollar is trading a little bit weaker today. Um, it's been a catalyst for some of the commodity markets to hold up, especially when you're looking for some safety trades. Also, um, Silver Wheaton has been moving up to the upside because it's a basic materials. We're going to watch the Trump policies very closely going forward. This would be a stock that could be a benefit of, of that. But as of late, it's been in a consolidation, trying to get through its 20-day and its 50-day moving average. So we're in that battleground of the bulls right now, coming off of its lows so far in 2017. The options are pricing in about a 3% move going into tonight's event of earnings. That's around a 61 or 63-cent move. So we could see it as high as you know almost 21 or as low as uh, 19, maybe 18 and some change. Uh, and that's what right now the options are pricing in going into that event. All right, folks, that is it right now for Tech Talk. Join me at 4.30 Eastern time for the closing bell here at MarketStream.Live. See you then.